Hey, what's up everyone? Brent here at the Sheraton Studios. Got a new video. It's been a minute, but I'm excited about this one. This one's about remodel tips. Uh, we're kind of looking more in Butte County, but this could apply for anywhere in the United States or, or around the world. So the first thing is, why look at doing a remodel? Well, the first reason is there's very low inventory. We're looking at like half the houses normally, and sometimes in other years we'd have here in Chico, you know, maybe more 200 houses on the market. Now we're under 100, and uh, it's, it makes it a difficult uh, situation for buyers. If you're looking for a modern, clean, turnkey ready house what's going to happen is you're going to have a bidding war you're going to have multiple offers on that house if it's priced at the market or competitively um and so you know if you're trying to get a good deal on something uh and, and maybe start with a little bit of equity and things like that it's just with a turnkey house it's going to be extremely difficult you're probably not going to have it so you're probably going to feel like you're overpaying a little bit but um you're going to pay a premium for a turnkey uh modern beautiful home uh here here in, in town at least okay and so the second thing why you could do a remodel so uh one, one of the one of the keys with that is is basically with a remodel there's not as much a demand on older homes that aren't dated okay and are out of style maybe they got the good bones um, they're made by a good builder uh, but it's got the tile it's got the oak it's got the carpets kind of like you know not as good um you know, you you may not be in the bidding war that you would be with a brand new house or with uh, something that's really modern. And so that allows you to get into something and then have that budget there. You're also going to get a lower price point for that. So maybe you're looking at 240 a square foot or 260 a square foot, where if it was already remodeled, if it's already new, you'd be looking at more $300 a square foot. So this is 2021, maybe 320 a square foot, depending on how nice it is. Um, so you're going to have a budget there that you can then use for uh, a renovation, which is really great. So there's a big why right now to start thinking about if I want a, a nice modern house, I may want to start looking for a dated house that I can then remodel. It's important to start weighing your options. Uh, and I think right now this is more important than in many times in past history. Okay, so what do you want to do? Here's some tips. First thing is you want to have a good team, all right? You know, um, uh, a renovation, a home renovation is expensive. It's a multidisciplinary, you know, uh, uh, task. Uh, and so you want to have a good team. So the number one thing, you want to have a good contractor, all right? Now, some of you are handy and, you know, you could do a lot of stuff on your own. You, you may be able to take on a remodel on your own. But consider this. Uh, I've known a lot of owners, you know, fix it up at guys, uh, and, and, and they'll take on a, a kitchen or a bathroom, or, and it'll take them, you know, six months, a year, you know, the kitchen's not done after a year, and you're living in a place, and, you know, there's no countertops for, you know, three months, and there's no sink for two months, and, you know, there's, there's a lot to it. And uh, having a contractor with a crew of guys is going to give you the benefit of speed. We could knock this thing out in 30 days, 60 days. We just took a house. If you go to restoringchico.com, we took a house and completely gutted the whole thing, exterior and interior, did the whole entire project made from an old kind of dated rental into what looks like a brand new home in 60 days, okay? And, uh, and that's, that's nice to be able to do that. And you're only gonna get that with a contractor who's got some, some labor behind him. Uh, also, another thing is interior designer or you know a home designer. This is also I think really important. Now, some of you ladies out there, okay, you're on Pinterest all the time. You know you're really good at this kind of thing, and you may not need this. Okay, I'm just gonna be honest. You you may have got the colors down. You know where the rug's gonna go. You know the table. You got it all lined up, and you understand how it's all gonna work. Okay, but if that's not you. Um, this is an important person. Now, usually, they're, you know, they could be $50, 60 $70 an hour. Um, use them as necessary. But a big thing that's going to do is it's, it's going to help you understand what the trends are. And home design, decor, these kinds of things, when you're doing a remodel, you want to pay attention to the trend. In investing, they say the trend is your friend, okay? And your home is an investment. And you have to understand that. Um, you know, there's a lot of trends that are changing. You want to kind of be 
ahead of the game a little bit and a designer is going to help you be there where you get something that's going to have a good look for a long time. Um, all these home remodel trends, they all fade out and they start to look dated, okay? And so right now we're seeing a lot of this with COVID and things like that. Uh, they're saying this, this, you know, I just reading an HGTV article today actually is my newsletter that I'm sending out to uh, my clients. Uh, but they're saying, you know, uh, uh, this great room architecture, the open concept, may be uh, changing a little bit where people are working from home. They want a little more cozy spaces. They want a little more private places. They don't maybe as much want this big open room that everything happens in, okay? That's a trend that was, is emerging. And so you want to just pay attention. We'll see what happens. But you, an interior designer is going to help you to kind of stay ahead of the curve a little bit. Also, going from Pinterest to reality is not easy. That little jump from I want this to like actually uh, it being your house that's a big jump. And so you want a good designer who can say, okay, we, we know how to get these products and this kind of look and this kind of feel, and it's going to be like that. Interior design is really going to help you uh, in that. So now some of you, again, you don't need it. Others of you, you have to know thyself and understand, do you need that or not? If not, uh, or if it's not your gifting, I would definitely hire that out 100%. Okay, last thing, you know, timing is everything. And I want to give you an example of this. You have to understand like, Basically, how to finance this. Are you going to pay cash, that kind of a thing? When you're doing a home renovation, it makes sense to not live in the house. I'm just from personal experience. Not having a sink in the kitchen is a pain. Not having the appliances is a pain. Not having counter... You're having no floors, having your kids run around, there's nails on the ground. You know what? Um, it's not fun. Now, you can live in your house during a remodel, but you got to count the costs, all right? Um, uh, because, hey, you know, uh, there's a bit of uncomfortability with that. So what I like to do, this is kind of like a lot of people's scenario that I'm dealing with right now, okay? They bought their first house. They're cool with it. COVID hit. Maybe they had a few kids. But a lot of people are looking, hey, I'm spending a lot of time in my house. I want to expand my house. I want to get a bigger house. They're in the market for the next house uh, while they still have their current house, okay? Now, here's a lot of, of what I see, and here's a little strategy that you could do so that you could pick up the next house uh, without having a lot of stress and, and, and living through a remodel and that kind of a thing. And, and so this is an example. These are example numbers. They're rough numbers. So say you bought your first house like seven years ago or so. People move about every seven years. You bought it for $225. The value is now at $350. This is not uncommon. It went up $125,000 over uh, seven years here. Okay, and interest rates going down drives up the prices, and interest rates are at all time low right now. And then also, you paid down your mortgage in seven years, you paid it down $25,000. Okay, so your equity in this house right now, your first house, you got about $150,000 in equity. Okay. So you want to take that equity, you, have, you need to take that equity, a lot of people, uh, and, and you need to put it as a down payment in the next house, okay? And so here's what that can look at. Now, um, let's say you find this kind of fixer-upper house, right? It's been on the market a little while, it's kind of dated, you know, and it's not having that super high demand that we're seeing from a new modern house. But you could see it, you have vision for what it could be. It's in the right location, it's in the right neighborhood, right? Location, location, location. Say they're asking $400,000, 20% down is going to be $80,000, okay? You got transaction costs for selling your house, buying this one, and that kind of thing. Let's just say $20,000, all right? So basically, it's going to cost you about $100,000 just to get this house, okay, without PMI and that kind of a thing. But you have your equity of $150,000. That gives you a $50,000 home renovation budget. You could do a lot with $50,000. That's a kitchen, that's a bath, that's floors, paint, you can kind of see what you need to do working with the interior designer, working with your little team here and kind of being creative and seeing how you can make that space really your own. But that, that's going to change it a lot. Now what I like to do is I like to, in this kind of situation, because the market is such a seller's market, when you sell your first house, you can go to that buyer and you can say, hey, I'm only accepting offers with a 45-day rent back or a 60-day rent back or a 30-day rent back or however much you want. This allows you to either pay rent. You can negotiate, hey, I'm not going to pay you anything. You know, you just got to let me live in it. Uh, I like to say, hey, let's pay them some rent. You know, so you're helping them pay rent. But you close on this house. You close on this house. Okay, we do what's called a concurrent closing. So you, you sold this one and you bought this one. But you're renting your original house back 
for 45 days, okay? That allows you to own this house as well as get the equity out of it to have your $50,000 to renovate this house. Now, this is where you get that demo day. You get the crews in there. You get the guys in there. Boom, they're taking out the wall. They're ripping up the carpet. They're doing whatever they, they, they need to do, putting it back together. So by the time you move in, Boom, your furniture, your appliances, everything is totally ready to go. And you're managing this project from the comfort of your original house. Then you seamlessly move into the new house as it's ready, and the new buyer uh, then takes possession of your old house. And that's what's called a 45-day seller in possession. It's just part of the contract that we write up when you sell your house. You say, hey, in a 45-day seller in possession. That's, that's, that's helpful to work with a good real estate agent, kind of understands these little creative ways that you can do this. But I think right now, more than any time, because it's so difficult for buyers to get a modern house right now, the demand is so high for a move-in ready house, start to consider and think about a remodel. Don't be turned off with the oak cabinets, the tile countertops, and the you know, beige walls and these kinds of things. That's fine. Begin to get some vision in your mind for what you can make a space. I hope that was helpful. Till next time, see you later.